The foundation says light pollution is the cause of unnecessary deaths of birds at night. This comes as the World Max World Migratory Birds Day to raise awareness about the danger of extinction. Our correspondent Paul George reports. Which is light pollution actually affects those birds that hunt at night. Young adults, students, teachers, among others, are here to mark this year's World Migratory Bird Day set aside to remind the world of the importance of birds to the environment. According to the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, birds are blessings to humans as they help pollinate food crops and help the ecosystem and nature. Therefore, there is need to preserve them. Uh, World Migratory Bird Day is of uh, great significance to uh, the planet, to us human beings and to the ecosystem because uh, uh, birds are important organisms that uh, play a significant role in the ecosystem. Uh, without the birds, uh, all the things about uh, plant po uh, pollination and all of that will not uh, be happening. The birds that we have migrate from city to city, from country to country. So every year we have this kind of enlightenment program and uh, we also uh, carry out some other um, uh, publications. We have bird clubs. The world's population contributes to birds going into extinction and it must be stopped. This gathering emphasizes a major challenge, light pollution. In a dramatic presentation, the students raise more awareness. We've invited people across the um, board, from students to media, to just members of communities that are not necessarily scientists or conservation biologists so that when they hear these messages said in a simple language that everyone can understand, they're able to cascade this using, and then, okay, we've used social media, um, traditional media also to perpetuate these messages. We must realize that the well-being of those other things we share the ecosystem is linked to our well-being. So in endangering them, we're endangering ourselves. So always take note of other organisms within the environment. And when you notice that there's been changes, we need to make adjustments to our own way of life so that we can accommodate everything for our general well-being. You can classify birds broadly into two categories. You have the migrants and you have the resident birds. So some birds migrate. Now, even amongst those that migrate, the scale of migration also differs. We have birds that migrate, for example, from Europe into Africa. And then you have some other birds that migrate only within Africa. Birds are of vital importance to humans. Pollination can be seen as one uh, benefit that humans derive because if pollination does not occur, then food is not available for humans. By feeding on insects, they are reducing insects that should have become pests to humans. So that's a service. It's the Abdim stock in, in, in the northern part of Nigeria, which is known as, in, in Hausa, is known as Shamwa. The local farmer, on seeing the bird at the beginning of the rainy season, knows that it's time to begin to prepare the farm for, for, for uh, prepare the land for farming. The, the starting point is education. When people, do, when people are ignorant, they do things that are unsustainable. So education sensitization is the crucial uh, part. So more and more people need to know uh, that birds are important to us. Light pollution is a major threat to migratory birds like vultures, parrots, eagles and hawks, among others, as it leads to disorientation when they fly at night. This in turn leads to collisions and also interferes with their long-distance migrations. Paul George, Plus TV News.